The next up in our config code is this block here. It all goes together. It's going to tell the system whenever somebody presses this kind of key, mod pause or windows pause, then you go to mode, mode system, set mode system, has system lock, e log out, suspend, hibernate, reboot, shift s, shut down, and then it's going to explain what's inside this mod system. If you press L, then execute, no startup ID, and then it's going to execute <coughs> one of these lines. So let's open this. Uh, this play. Yeah. It's going to run anything of this. You can have a color or an image. I rather want it to have a nice looking wallpaper. So it's going to lock it and or else send a logout message exits. It's going to suspend stuff. It's going to hibernate. It's going to reboot. It's going to be shut down and stuff like that. So this will happen. I'll work in this code because I saw that I can change the code to something better. So you'll get a newer version. But it doesn't matter. So this thing is really activating the ways to exit. So Windows pause is activating this line. So this line here is coming from here, 338. And now when I press something, when I press L, E, S, H, R, it's going to start up a program, I3 exit with a name behind it and, and the case structure will do um, I've deleted it, yeah. Case structure will make sure what to choose. So that's that. If you want to change some text or stuff, but normally just keep off, it will work as it is. And that concludes the movie for this part of the config.